Hello guys and welcome back to Planet 40k So we're doing something very different today I've been invited to a tournament from Idic Beer, Necrons and more So we're going to be going through a 16 person tournament And I'm going to be in this video giving you my 1000 point list that I'm going to be taking to that tournament I'm going to be explaining the customised rules for the tournament and this is going to be a little bit of a vlog because I'm going to be patching bits and bobs of the tournament in this video so you're going to see virtually everything I've got to show you. Now I'm going to go through my tactics and my list before even heading off because the tournament is actually tomorrow, this is only Friday and the tournament is Saturday so I'm going to go through my tactics and what I'm going to be doing. So first of all I'm going to cut to myself if that makes any sense and then I'll come back and talk about it. So this video is sponsored by P-Works War Games and they provided this gaming map for us to show you today. They've also provided this terrain, which is the Industrial Kit 04 as well as Industrial Kit 01. So we're going to have a little look at all this stuff to begin. This stuff's really easy to build, you're literally getting it flat pack like this, you're just popping them out of these wooden, what would you call these things, whatever they're called, you're popping them out. I use some wood glue, you just put them together, you can probably use PVA glue. I use some wood glue just to make sure that it's fairly strong. These things are pretty light. I've not painted mine yet, but that's what it would look like. And I think I've done mine wrong actually, but the instructions are fairly simple. And yeah, guys, that is the gaming mat as well as the terrain features from P-Works War Games. So you'll find them in the link in the description. So in fact, while we're here guys, we're gonna go through my 1000 point list. I should have already explained what this list is, or what the tournament is about. So let's get into it. So first of all, my army is going to be led by my Hexmark Destroyer. I've only got one character in this entire list, believe it or not. I am not playing the standard Necron way, and you're going to see why in a moment. So to follow him up, we've got three units of three Tomb Blades. They've got the three plus armor save, as well as the five plus invulnerable save. So I've got three units of three of those, they're going to be doing me a lot of secondary objectives. I've got two units of five Lich Guard with the swords and shields. You'll have to ignore that there's a couple that have lost their swords at the moment because they keep snapping off. Pain in the bum. I've then got two units of Canoptic Scarab Swarms. They're going to be doing me some bits and bobs, we'll get onto that in a moment as well. Two units of three Canoptic Wraiths. Again with the Inman saves, there's a lot of Inman saves here. We have then got two units of Ophidian Destroyer, no, one unit of Ophidian Destroyer, sorry. And one unit of three. Now, in fact, on my table, I'm missing, where am I missing? I'm missing something. Let's have a little look. I'm still in the process of painting up last minute. Locust Heavy Destroyers with the Exterminator weapons. And I actually forgot my plasma site, so that's why that is there as well. But that will be built. In fact, I'll bring them over now. They're almost done. Bear with me a moment. Let's stick one of them there, one of them there, one of them there. Right, that's what it's going to look like in full. So yeah, two single units of Locust Heavy Destroyers with the Exterminator weapons. They're just going to be in my back lines, screening off and shooting things that get near. So that's my 1000 point Necrons list. I'm now going to go back to myself at the screen and explain what this list is all about. Right, so you've seen my list. Now you're probably thinking, what the heck is this? Minimum units with Necrons isn't the way to go with Necrons. So let's explain what we're talking about. So I've been looking at this whole reanimation protocols thing and I've been, I've been building thousands of lists, literally, well not literally thousands, but hundreds of lists I must have gone through where I've gone with Necron Warriors, two banks of you know 20 Necron Warriors with the Ghost Arcs and all the Crypto Thralls, the Reanimator, the Orbs, Overlord. I've done all those lists. I've then done the Lich Guard lists with the same thing. I've done the Transcend Guitar list. I've then done the Shooty list with the Locust Heavy Destroyers. And every time I did a list, I just found a flaw. And I know this is 1k, there's always going to be a flaw. There's always going to be a flaw, right? But with this list that I've built, I'm actually happy. In fact, before we go in, we should probably explain the rules of this competition and of this tournament because it isn't straightforward. It isn't your bog standard tournament. So, there's 16 players at this moment in time. I think we might be short, in fact, so there's going to be a bit of customised rules on the day. But there's supposed to be 16 players, and it's doubles. It's doubles. So we're going to be grouped in pairs. We don't know our doubles partners yet. We're going to be we're going to get them randomly. 
I don't know whether the next drawing them tonight or going to be on the day tomorrow morning. Hopefully on the day and so we can actually video it. That would be more fair, I suppose, but that would be much better. So we don't know what we're going to get. I could get paired with orcs. I could get paired with Dean Prince Powie's demons. And we could get paired with Black Templars. We don't know. We don't know. So that makes it a little bit interesting in terms of a list build. So we're playing 1000 plus 1000. So we're effectively playing a 2k game. Now we cannot be using each other's uh, abilities. We can't be using, let's say for example, two Space Marine players get joined up together. They cannot be both using each other's Oath of Moment. If two Necrons, no, I suppose two Necrons play. Well, yeah, even abilities with auras, we can't be linking to each other. You have to stick to your own rules and your own abilities. There's also a few little bits of weirdness, like jankiness with you know Chaos Demons with their with their Shadow of Chaos. You've got to get their own version of it. You can't be using your your partner's units to gain a Shadow of Chaos. So we've kind of had to slightly customize the rules in order to keep this going and make it fair. So. Now you know that it's blind pairs, let's go back to my list, in fact let me get my list up again just to remind myself and explain why. So I've called it Kamikaze Krons, I'm literally going Kamikaze because we had to submit our factions, I can't remember what date it was, it was maybe a week ago or maybe two weeks ago, Nick wanted us to submit the factions up front for whatever reason, right, so I was looking at all the factions that there were, there were Orcs, there's Space Marines, there was... what else was there? Obviously Demons, there's a lot of ne Necron players. Custodies, a lot of it is very elite infantry is what I was starting to notice. So I was thinking, okay, Necron Warriors. Necron Warriors in groups of 20. There's a flaw, if they get hit hard, I'm going to be rinsing CP with Undying Legions. Of course an Overlord will assist, but then if your Overlord goes down, then you're using the strategy to get him up. There's, I think I'm going to be going through a lot of CP, bearing in mind that me and my partner are going to be sharing CP, so that could be a bit of a downer for the team. So I didn't want to go in that route, especially if you're getting charged by, you know, 10 custody guard with the, I don't know what they're, the Trajan, the character called Trajan, with, he's got fight first and re-rolls virtually everything, it gives the unit everything, and it's, it's, it's a bit of a pain to deal with, and it was the same with the Lich Guard, they were going to get absolutely smacked if they got into a fight. Yes, the Crypt of Thralls did help a lot, but eventually I didn't like the fact that, you know, Gazgo and Mega Nobs can come in and just tear them up. It just wasn't, I wasn't feeling. And also I'll just be sitting on primaries doing not, not much else. So I kind of binned those lists. I wanted a bit more of a fun list. I started tinkering with shooty lists, Locust Heavy Destroyer list, and I thought I need a screen. I don't know what I'm going with. So basically I've gone with this min, list, min, min unit list. I'm not relying on reanimation protocols, I'm not relying on CP, I'm not relying on Undying Legions, I'm not relying on Eternal Guardian, I'm literally just going for secondaries. I've got all the units to do the secondary objectives, I've got quick tomb blades, I've got the Ophidian Destroyers that can keep popping in and out, I've got the Lich Guard that could just hunker down on an objective. Yes, there's no Technomancer, yes, there's no Noble, but they're still pretty tough and what I'm thinking is, let's say I don't know, Lionel Johnson, which is another one, Dark Angels are coming. So if he just comes in, makes a charge, if he kills three Tomb Blades, it's 80 points, who cares? It's 80 points, you can have 80 points, I don't mind. Whereas if they went and target 20 Necron Warriors, 240 points, plus the Crypto Thralls, plus the two characters, you go Starks right there, which would now be useless. It just gets a bit like, damn, that's half my list. If they do target it, it's all gone. So the idea was, yeah, if you get into a charge and you, you fight my guys, you can take my three wrecks, you can take my three tomb blades, you can take my three Ophidians, I don't mind, because I've got plenty more units to deal with the secondaries that are going to come from the deck. That's what I'm looking at, I'm looking at the secondaries deck, my pairing hopefully can do a bit of damage, because I'm not doing much dim damage as you've seen from my list, there's hardly any damage, I mean there's, there's nine tomb blades with the particle blasters, which are d6 shots each, devastating wounds, they can maybe do something, I'm not relying on it in terms of damage, but I can assist with the damage dealing, but really I'm hoping that my partner can deal some damage. I'm hoping I've got one of these elite infantry partners, or even, even Chaos Demons, because I know what he's bringing, and it's not going to be nice for anyone that plays against him. So I should probably shout out my buddies that are coming to the tournament. Well, not, some of them I don't know, so I can't call them buddies just yet, but hopefully I'll be calling them buddies. 
And let's have a look. So we have got, of course, Idic Beer, Necrons and more. That's going to be Nick. We've got CM War Games, which is Richard, his buddy. We have got myself. We've got Planet 40k Demons, run by Aaron. We've then got the Hobby Corner. We've got Baltimore's Guide to Warhammer. We've got Warzone Morlock 40k, Shed Gaming, The Golden Throne, Ministry of Dice, and Modeling for Advantage. I believe that's all of them. If I've got that incorrect, I'll have to rectify that. But that's what it is at this moment in time, I believe. So yeah, hopefully I've got that correct. If I haven't, apologies, and I will sort that out with some sort of shout out for you. But yeah, that is my 1000 point list. Let's hopefully now move into the next part of the, of the vlog where I'm actually going to the tournament. Now, unfortunately, it was quite loud in the gazebo, so I'm going to have to voice over this. But we're going through the actual prizes for the start of this. So we've got some Combat Patrol box sets. We've got some toys, of course. Flayed one there. We've got the wooden spoon for last place. We've got the black hair spray for fourth and fifth place and the best winners. And we've got some unique objectives from Innovative Tinkering. Quite clever from Nick because we were actually going to need them for game two. Right, so I'm back in the room. And yeah, next we're going to go on to Nick's draw. Again, apologies for the footage, I don't feel like I took enough footage and the, the footage I did take was probably quite rushed. So again, I'm going to have to voice over quite a lot of this stuff. But the next part here is Nick, in fact, doing a draw for the first game's pairings. Was last. Yeah, so the first one on table one is Baldemort. Ooh. And he's going to be paired up with... Drum roll. Kevin is late, so he just goes out the park. So What's he playing? Yeah. Uh, he's playing Space Marine. Sorry? He's going to play the singles game. <laughs> yeah, he's going to play the singles. Because he's not here yet. So, Baldemort is going to be paired up with James. Hello. Oh, it's quite a They are going to be playing <laughs> Richard Morgan. Yeah. Oh. Go, Jen. Paired up with. Aaron. Oh, demons and orcs. Ooh. So that's table one. Table two is going to be uh, David Butler. That is. There's with, with Kaiser. And they will be facing. What am I going on this one? Rory, partnered up with Jack. And on table three, we have Dave. Yep, Dave, partnered up with. Richie and they will be playing. Give me a doubles, please. I want a double. Give me a new planet. Oh shit. Nick. Hey. Oh, come on, put me in. Put me in. Partnered up with. Come on. Nah. Come on. No double net. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here it is. Come on. Hey. 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 Which means, uh, sadly, I'm happy. Bill, you're not singles taking away from Kevin. <laughs> right, I've remembered some other stuff. So, uh, thank you to our sponsors. Um, I've already done a thing in my video about the sponsors, um, but we've got some awesome prizes this year. Um, Innovative Tinkering, who've supplied the dice, have also made me some custom objective markers for the Dominion War Run, which you will actually need for game two because you have to generate objectives. Smart. Okay, you all have one each, and these are to take home after the event. Thank you very much. And by them, you have a name tag. So if you take the name tag, put it by your army, make sure it doesn't blow away. Yeah. And then when we do best army score, you, people will know whose army is what. And I've got some paper you can write it down, the best army. Uh, and that's it, have fun. So I ended up going with Nick, Idit Beer, Necrons and more. So Necrons and Necrons joining forces for the first time ever. And after seeing his list, I was quite optimistic because I'd seen that he's got two Doomsday Arcs. He had three Canoptic Doomstalkers, a Hexmark Destroyer with a Sovereign Coronal. Still all going to get the plus one to the hit roll. He had some Death Marks. 
I believe that was everything. I might be missing something. But it was a quite complimentary to my list because as you guys know by now, I had the minimum unit list. So I'll be doing the scoring, he could be doing the shooting. Jobs are good em. Okay, can you believe it? I was paired up with Planet 40k, Mr. Necrons, again, made in heaven. Mr. Necrons. Magical made in heaven. <laughs> uh, so we have deployed. Uh, Planet's got some Tomb Blades, these two single heavies. Uh, Wraith, Mitchcard, Scarabs, and Duplicate basically over here. And we are up against Tyranids and Sisters of Battle. That's where we've got Richie. Yeah, Richie, look forward to this. Yeah, not too much. And Violetta, though? Or Benzetta? Yeah, if you like. <laughs> it's Violetta because of the mint chop <laughs> flavoured Tyranids. There we go. We are running to the so I'm going to pause the video here just to show you some rough deployment that what me and Nick did in our first game. The game was basically take and hold, hammer and anvil with no extra rules. It was as basic as possible just to get us guys into the game and into the actual tournament without any hassles because we had to do the draw and all that kind of stuff. We were undecided on whether to put Nick's big shooty stuff in the middle or on the flanks. Eventually we went with the middle. Now the firing lanes were not that great until they literally got onto our side of the board. As you can see the terrain features are literally covering the entire board there. So we didn't get to shoot with him much for turn 1 and even turn 2. Which was a little bit of a downer for us because we weren't making ground. Now I pretty much just mirrored my army. I had Tomb Blades and Wraiths on either flank. We also had Lich Guard in the centre. I was going to use either the Lich Guard or the Scab just to screen off his basically his entire list because we know that's, that's quite a valuable part to our army combined. We had some more tomb bays at the back just for mopping up some secondaries. We had my Locust Heavy Destroyers at the right hand rear of the map there as well. They were just going to be an anti-deep strike and shoot stuff up that comes quite close. We also did have some extra scab swarms that Nick did bring which I just forgot to mention. They were also screening off the back. So going through this game, this was a really hard game. It was like a chess match. It was tit for tat and to be honest, we were struggling. Like I said, we weren't getting the shooting lanes off early doors. The Exocrines were piling down the right. The Zone Throats were coming down the centre with the, the, the Swarm Lord. And on the left flank, they were making ground with the Sisters. And we were literally struggling. I was having to throw my units kamikaze style to either score points, try and get onto an objective. But really, I was just throwing them to be eight because we didn't want the Doomstalkers and the Doomsday Arcs getting done by the Swarm Lord. However, we eventually did win. I've got the scores here. We did win, to my surprise, in fact, it was 81 to 73. So there's an eight points difference there. And we did actually max out Investigate Signals for eight points, which could have been a big deal, really, couldn't it? So in the end, I, I did take out a lot of stuff. I did score a lot of points from my end. Nick did take out a hell of a lot of stuff. Both the tanks, I believe, and Exocrine went. I think we combined with the Swarm Lord and his own throats he dealt with as well so he done a lot of work i done a fair amount of scoring and overall it was a pretty good team so yeah well done to us then we went into game two well, in fact we had to do the draw first i didn't actually manage to record the draw because i was sort of trying to get my lunch down didn't want to get a migraine this year which i didn't get until after the event which was a bonus i suppose so we did the draw i got kevin from the hobby corner and he played space marines and he had gulliman and you've just seen a little clip there that was kevin that is my partner he he actually declared to me that he hasn't played a game since sixth edition and i was like oh okay we're in for a tough one i then looked at his list and apart from gulliman there was no anti-tank there was nothing really doing damage and I was like, we're in for a, a really tough one because I have no damage, he's got no damage, but he just kept telling me, have faith, man, have faith. And that was that was his his words, literally. So we went into the game and it was against Voldemort with the Blood Angels, or the Space Marines, I'm not sure if they were Blood Angels or just Space Marines, as well as Bill, who had these fantastically painted Dark Angels. They were in pinky purple. I'm, I need to get them on the screen in a moment to show you because... You, in fact, won one of the awards for them because they just look so good. But yeah, it was 
like I said, we, we had no anti tank. Voldemort had, uh, I don't know if it was, they were both executioners, repulsors. I don't know, I think one was the big one, one was not the big one, but there were definitely two tanks there, and there were also two dreadnoughts there. But we had nothing to pop those, and then they both had a terminator unit, one had a five man terminator unit. One had a 10 man Terminator unit. There was Azrael with Hell Blasters and an Apothecary. That was a nasty combination as well. And this was going to be a tough one. So, whew, we didn't know what to do because I was the guy that was meant to be scoring the secondaries. But Kevin's unit was sort of equipped to do the secondaries. He had lots of Assault Intercessors. He did have some Blade Guard, which I didn't actually notice until halfway into the game. I didn't notice the shields. I thought they were just Intercessors. And. Aggressors were there as well, but they didn't do a lot and realistically we were Undecided on who should be at the back who should be at the front who should be screening Because what are we screening really other than Gulliman, which we tried to protect he got into a fight eventually with the Terminators he heroically interven intervened which It was good at the time, but I think in hindsight it probably wasn't because we lost our charge bonus And then in the opponent's turn the defenders fight first so they fought first twice against Gulliman. He did take down about five or six Terminators. In the end, he did go down on a three plus. He gets back up. Of course, we whiffed the roll. We didn't get him back up. But as for the scores, well, it was a weird one because it got to turn three. And Nick announced there was about half an hour left. And we're like, well, there's no way we're completing this game. So we totted the scores up and we were ahead. And we said, should we call it? at turn three so we said yeah and then we went back to nick and nick said no 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 finish the game so we said fine we finished the game so we then did have to kind of finish the game out we did it in quick pace game we didn't really do it the proper way we kind of really paced it out super fast and long story short it was a tie it was a tie 92 apiece i'm pretty proud of that one and i got to hand it to my partner he kept telling me have faith have faith even if strength four does you know shoot against the tank there might be some sixes, they might roll some ones. He, keep, he kept telling me that. He just kept saying, don't worry, man, don't worry, man. And then, halfway into the game, in fact, he just kept showing me the sheet going, we've got this, bro, we've got this. And I was just gobsmacked. I was like, how have we got this? We're in trouble. 92 each. Fantastic game, fantastic crowd, and yeah, couldn't ask for much more, really. And I knew with that kind of score, because we're adding the scores from both the games individually, I knew that would put me up there in the ranking, so I was happy overall. Now luckily we were going to bring, play pairs and end up playing singles, but I had pairs prizes because we do have a few joint places. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So, we're starting uh, in reverse order. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> reverse order. <laughs> <laughs> In joint last place. Oh, joint yes, last yes, place. Yes, I think we know. Yeah. Cut it out. <laughs> it's, uh, David and Kaiser with 93 points. Tell them why! One each, there you go. So much. The wooden spoon! 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 The I changed the score. Good sport. Come on. Okay, so now we're going to go down in order. <coughs> so in 11th place, we have Aaron with his demons. Yay! 119 points. Nice. Make some drink. Yeah, fantastic. So you reckon Nurgle demons are slightly better than left guard? Here's my option. I would ally up and Nurgle demons. In 10th place, we have Richie with his sisters. In 9th place, we have David Vendetta or Vianetta with his Tyranids. Yeah. 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 
133 Woo! points. Nice. Okay. 133. In eighth place, we have Rory with his two in it. Yay! Yay. 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 And 165 points. In seventh place, we have Richard Morgan with his Orcs. Yay! Yay. 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 162 points. Yay. In eighth, uh, no, sixth place, we have Kevin. Oh! Yay. 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 163 points. In fifth place, we have Nick with his Necrons. Yay. Yay. <laughs> now we come on to the prizes. So in fourth place we have Mr. Planet Forty Two. Well done. Interchangeable, so whoever wins will choose which combat patrol box and which toy they want. Yeah, uh, so in third place, it is Jack with his Necrons. Go on, Jack. I think you might want the flayed one. I think so, yeah. Uh, you also have a choice of dice color as well. Which Ooh. dice color would you like? And in second place, second place we have Mr. Baltimore. You will get a combat patrol box, but whoever chooses the first one. Yeah. yeah, but you do get a I get a cup! <laughs> and at that moment, I had to do a battery chain just as we were going to announce the first place. So, apologies to James. I caught the end of your sort of presentation of your award, but apologies to you guys. Yeah! So, uh, that's yours. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic event, thank you. Oh, we'll come down, take first and last place. <laughs> awesome. So we did yeah. uh, best army, Ooh. not necessarily best painted, but best army, and uh, we had a, a winner, obviously. A clear winner. Uh, a clear winner. <laughs> I, think a clear we winner. I think we know. Yeah. However, the runner-up was Richie with his Ooh. sisters. And then we have the winner of Best Painted, Best Army, who is, not surprisingly, Bill. Yeah. I didn't actually vote for him, but I didn't see his glass out. And I was like, oh, okay. that's good. There's your price. More space. Think more space. space. Yeah. 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 Thanks very much. Good. So there you have it guys, that was me going to Nick Edit Beer, Necrons and More Tournament and 4th place, it's not too bad for a very odd Necrons list. Uh, again shout out to all the guys that were there, fantastic guys and also a big shout out to Nick as well as Richard of course for basically getting all that tournament up and running, that was a lot of work to get through. So yeah, big huge thank you to you for the invite as well as putting on a great tournament. But guys. Viewers, if you found this interesting, make sure you are subscribing to all those channels down below in the comments, in the comments, in the description down below. They'll all be listed there, so yeah, give them all a subscribe. Some of them are fairly new, so give them a little push into their, into their YouTube careers, I suppose. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.